welcome back to my channel so i have a new swatch for you guys a lip try on haul by revlon of course i'm gonna try new brands sooner or later but i don't know revlon really stick to me more stick out to me probably because the colors they have i'll be in like target and be walking by and be like "Ooh, these are cute <laughs> let me show the girlies so here i go listen these i think it's a new line like the brand new line um revlon kiss cushion lip tint so it's not like a lip cream it's not a lip gloss it's a lip tint so i have no idea how i'm i don't know the difference honestly and when i before i started the video i looked at the lip glosses of course right and it comes with a brush applicator and it's not like a regular lip gloss brush applicator you know the clear lip gloss that has a little brush at the top that feel really good on your lips it's not that it's not that at all <sighs> okay so this is the first one guys revlon cushion lip tint and this is the color 210 pretty kiss boo basu boo 210 loose i don't know y'all okay so yeah so yeah we got the 210 here i have no idea how to use this i'm thinking you okay so it's like that clear lip gloss from the beauty supply you crank it up Okay, y'all, this is literally the most goofiest thing I've ever seen in my life. How do you work this? See the brush? Like, I'm thinking you turn it, and as you turn it, okay, you have to turn it quite a while before. Dang! Ah, uh, yeah. By the way, this brush feels so good on my lips. Hold on, y'all. Honestly, this probably a bag. This is a bag. This is a hit. Okay, this. Listen. It comes out nude, but honestly, y'all, nude is my favorite. Nude or clear lip gloss is literally my go-to's every day. It just make my lips look so good. Like sometimes I throw a pink on. <sighs> Period. Period. And this smells so good. It smells like chocolate with like a little bit of like fruit and sex. Like like not sex like you know how sex supposed to be good is good smelling sex it was a duck <laughs> it was a duck okay it smells good like mm. See, look. Yeah, this is going to be my new go-to. 210. Yes, honey. Okay, I'm going to show y'all how I look on my skin. Listen. I'm I'm not light skin. I'm brown skin. So, it might not show up as yet. Yeah, see that nude right there? Honey. Honey. Get into it. Period. Get into it. Okay, I actually might like this one, okay? The next one looks like more of a chocolate color, and I love chocolate too, y'all. Like, anything that makes my lips look like a piece of candy. Like, I want the type of stuff that make my lips look like they so edible. Edible is like edible AF. 
okay only thing okay this is 200 fancy rose rose chic or chick you can pronounce it either way now listen only thing i don't like about this is the fact you gotta twist it up it twists it so much for something to come out like i don't know if you gotta you probably don't have to twist it up as much when you start when you finally use it for the first time but using it for the first time like dang this is that's a lot to do yeah their chocolate look y'all like who like say say i'm sitting here rushing to go to work or rushing on a date or like you know like what if i'm on a date and i just want to whip out my lip gloss a little bit you know real fast you know just to first off draw attraction to your lips the guys love it period so what if i want to just whip it out and put it on i gotta crank this crank it up i gotta crank it up before i put it on like if i was doing i was looking like that's some complicated stuff like what is that but y'all yeah, this color gorgeous yet again This one has the same smell as the first one, but this is a more lighter, like lighter, lighter scent. This is a lighter scent. Wait, if I had a perfume in this in this scent, I would wear it. it. Oh, I know what it smells like. It smells like vanilla. That's what it smells like. Yeah, I love the scent of vanilla. I don't know why I didn't get it right away, but it's a distinct vanilla smell but it's so soft i should have known it i don't know i have a perfume that's literally just vanilla from bath and body works vanilla bean and i also got a lip gloss from walmart that's literally just vanilla it smells delicious makes me want to eat it up makes me want to get a cookie okay y'all this is extra violet 290 Okay, y'all. Uh, once again, too much. Oh my goodness, y'all. Oh, I knew it. I knew I shouldn't have tried it that way. But as I can see, the lip gloss comes off really easily. Like on my lips, I just got something on my hand because I wanted to be a dummy and turn it that way. I can't even turn it no more. This thing is not turning. Okay. Um. Uh. It's a lip tint, so maybe I don't need that much. But I definitely want to show you all. Maybe somebody that like purple, a lighter skin complexion, a different race, like maybe a white person, white girl, would look better with this color. I don't know. I can see. I can definitely see. A black sister rocking this color too. Ooh, especially on a bomb dark skin. This will look so like on a bomb dark skin with like a fall look. Maybe I could wear this with a fall type of look, you know? But this wouldn't be something that's like an everyday type of thing at all. Like I know some people that wear like lip glosses and stuff all the time. But this comes on so easily because of this brush. I just wish that they would find another way. Like, you know, the one, like, maybe if it was a squeezable one, it would come out better. Like, the squeezable lip glosses with the brushes, like the clear ones from Beauty Spot, like I said earlier. 
that would work better than me having to crank it up. Who wants to sit there and do that? They probably gonna discontinue that. I would discontinue that. I don't even know why they let that go out on the market. <laughs> Maybe this is a test. This is a test product. I don't know. But Revlon, you have to stick it up. You have to get better, you know? Step it up, please. Now, this is 220 Pink IRL Rose Pauvoir. That's cute. This is what it looks like. This is not, this is not Barbie pink because Barbie pink is lighter than this, but it's like a rose petal pink, like to me. Okay. Now look. Now, okay, look. I have some pinks actually that I use sometimes, but it's not as light as this. And it looks really good on me. This. It looks really cute. It looks really cute, but this doesn't work for me. You all might think it look cute on me. I don't think it look cute on me. I think maybe if I had a white shirt on and not another pink shirt, I feel like I look like, you know, the, the, okay. If you ever seen Bratz, if you ever seen Bratz, If you ever seen Bratz, they got these two twins that are um, white and they were all pink, kind of like Legally Blonde. They told me took that from Legally Blonde, period. That's why I feel like I look like. And I am a girly, I am a girly person. I'm not a girly girl to where I'm wearing pink on my lips. I wear pink outfits all the time. That's one of my favorite colors, period. But maybe somebody with a lighter complexion, you know? That would definitely be better for them. Okay, so I'm going to take this off. And the next color is this red. I'm excited about red. I don't really wear red because I feel like... I don't really wear red lip gloss because I feel like it's too grown for me. I know that it's some girls that is my age. Sorry. I know it's some girls that are my age, I'm 21 by the way, they wear lip gloss like this, but to me it's too grown for me and it's too vibrant, it's too exotic, it's too sexy. Maybe if I'm wearing it with like a cute black dress or like a fancy fancy outfit, but no, definitely not a regular day thing, not even a occasional thing. This will have to be, I'm going out to club. <laughs> This is out to club lips. And this is bright. Oh my goodness. This looks cute. What? I don't know, but it's a lip tint. It's not a it's not a lip gloss. So I think it's because when I wear red lipstick before, it was either a gloss or a matte and it looked like it showed up too much. But this looks cool and simple. I just wouldn't wear this 
I wouldn't step out the side outside with this on with a regular outfit on. Like I would I would have to be dressed up, give it certain looks in order for me to wear this. Like I could wear this like with a costume. Halloween just passed. Okay, well now we see that it gets on your teeth. But it comes off really easily. I hope that it don't get on your teeth and stay there. That's embarrassing. That's straight, extremely embarrassing. And by the way, girls, I'm using Neutrogena Makeup Wipes to take this off. I don't know if it comes off with anything else as far as just a napkin. I don't know if what if it does that. But these are the new Revline Cushion Lip Tint. Uh, I believe these are all the colors. These are all the colors that I've seen on the line at Target. Um, they might have more at Ulta. I'm not sure. But yes, these are all the colors. I got Extra Velvet 290, 200 Fancy Rose, 210 Pretty Kiss, 220 Pink IRL. Yes, ma'am. And 260 Crimson Fields. I didn't even tell you all this color. Two Simpson Crimson Fields. I think that's why I liked it. Like it. I like crimson. I love like Kappa's. Their colors is crimson and cream. I love that red. I love how it shimmers. Okay, so I think that's why I like it. This is a crimson color. Mm. Okay, well, thank you all. Bye, girlies. Thank you for watching this video. You all should definitely go try these for yourself um to see how they look on you um i'm not really sure what the prices are i totally always i literally when i go buy things for youtube and for myself i don't look at the price i really if i see it, I say oh pick it up and we're leaving pick it up pay for it leave okay so I need to start doing it for you all. I remember looking at it, but I looked at so many different selections. I don't remember exactly the price. So I will put the price in the description box. You all definitely should go try these on. I'm definitely going to wear this one out. This one, and I might wear the pink. No, this one and this one, I'm about to go crazy on, okay? But all right, you all enjoyed this video. Thank you.